there is a, a lot of difference. So even 20 years ago, an entrepreneur uh, who say, uh, decides to set up a, a business, say manufacturing unit uh, for uh, computer hardware, um, would have thought of really renting a small place uh, so, you know, putting his uh, machineries there and uh, uh, hiring a few people and start uh, working and uh, supplying it to um, to the nearest maybe the consumer or uh, to some maybe you know um, uh, agent who would be uh, uh, selling it to um, companies abroad uh, so so for the entrepreneur it was always a kind of a local operation you know um, at the most um, probably after as uh, some um, months or years of operation the entrepreneur can really uh, establish direct linkages with couple of companies abroad you know uh, and also um, can sometimes think of uh, you know, directly marketing it there but today today actually you as an as a small entrepreneur can still think of starting a business operation uh, who, uh, which would expand globally from the moment go. Uh, you, you are having a global operation from the very beginning. You know? That's because um, say in, uh, in many software businesses today, people are working in a distributed environment from different parts of the world. So three entrepreneurs are working together. One is sitting in India, one mm -hmm. is US, someone is maybe Tel Aviv, you know, mm -hmm. and working together from the very beginning. Right. So this itself, uh, and, you know, you can call kind of micro multinationals, you know. So you are a, a, a micro enterprise in one sense, but you are in a, in a, a multinational in that sense, you know. So, uh, so, and because of uh, rapid progress in communication technology, distance is becoming immaterial today. Um, say, for example, uh, I today I can all the time I can discuss on a project using Skype video conferencing to anyone anywhere else in the world, and as if uh, you know we are working together in a in a in a single space in a single office you know uh, but actually um, maybe we are working from very different locations far from each other but we never feel that it, it becomes so real so uh, virtual is as big as good as real today and that itself has changed the business scenario completely uh, that uh, um, the, uh, if to um, if some years ago, um, small entrepreneurs were relying on um, on exporters or or you know companies uh, which uh, say a merchant exporter who used to uh, buy goods uh, from entrepreneurs and then using their network offices at uh, different places will be selling. Uh, the, I mean, yeah, it's like middleman, a merchant exporter, you know. Yeah. So today, actually, that <laughs> uh, kind of, you know, that chain is now broken. Even the entrepreneur ha can have direct linkage with the with the ultimate consumer, and sometimes even they can co-create together. Consumer can actually create a product or service together with the entrepreneur. You know, we co-create. Co-create, you know, um, it was a, a concept which was actually mm, which is, uh, uh, developed uh, uh, quite a bit by the late management guru uh, Prahalad, Professor Prahalad, you know, so uh, where, I mean, um, uh, he wrote um, even a couple of articles also in, in MIT's Sloan Management Review on, you know, uh, co creation where actually you know um, you you involve the the user of the product uh, for designing the uh, 
uh, and the, the, the product and developing the product. So, and this kind of collaboration is taking place um, in, a, in a very wide geographical area. Uh, and sometimes even entrepreneur without visiting the area is able to collaborate. You know? So, so that, that, is, uh, that is a big, big change yeah? if you compare the, the business scenario uh, you know, of the past. Uh, then, um, secondly, I think um, uh, you are, as an entrepreneur, you are able to create businesses in, in areas which were earlier, um, uh, you know, was not at all possible or which earlier would have been considered not your line of business. Suppose uh, today, I as a, as a computer engineer or a, a, as an expert in communication technology can think of creating an automobile business, creating a car manufacturing unit. Say you have heard the Google car. Mm -hmm. Google is today, today um, uh, you know, uh, uh, is creating a car which is, which, um, which is competing with Nissan, Mercedes and Ford of the world. And Google is not actually automobile company. But you see how it's uh, changing. So maybe this are not very far where you see that Detroit is replaced by Silicon Valley. So Silicon Valley become a, a automobile hub because the nature of the product itself is undergoing a change. You know the driverless car where actually, yeah, you know, you don't require a driver. It is all um, um, managed by very, um, uh, very, very extremely complex communication process where, uh, you know, the, the, um, uh, the, the computer system, the, uh, the car is constantly interacting with the satellite, with, uh, you know, uh, other data centers. And the nature of the automobile business from a, from a hardcore manufacturing business is changing to a service business. You know? Where actually I don't buy the car as a consumer, I probably, you know, I will rent a car where I will simply get in and I don't have to do anything, it will, the car will automatically drop me to my destination and once I go, uh, get out of the car, it goes back to another destination. So, using that, and also uh, um, this kind of changes, now entrepreneur can design so many different kind of now, you know, businesses where, where probably an entrepreneur sitting in Trinidad and Tobago can offer a service somewhere maybe, maybe you know, in the US or in China using this kind of you know, communication system where I mean a, a product, a physical product probably will be delivered to a customer by a car uh, you know with the, uh, uh, and, and by an entrepreneur who probably is not at all there. You know? so, so you see that uh, the, the kind of um, uh, kind of uh, business model that is emerging, you know, and kind of startups which are emerging, which which probably absolutely unthinkable some years ago. I mean, and more you think in the in the design field, um, okay, or in the in the healthcare sector, extremely um, a, a unusual startups would appear, which probably, you know, even till, as of today also, it may be um, thought about a, 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 as a um, fantasy. See, so um, I think um, um, the, the nature of the startups today, or nature of many startups today, is already very, very different than if you compare them with startups say about 20 years ago.